Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I'm going to take a look at the Benny Chang classic A Moment of Romance released on Blu-ray from Nova Media. So with the upcoming release from Cine Asia here in the UK of Benny Chan's last film Raging Fire starring Donnie Yen and Nicholas Che, I thought it would be nice to take a look at one of my unopened Blu-rays, um, which is also one of my favourite Benny Chan movies, and that is A Moment of Romance, starring Andy Lau, uh, Jacqueline Wu, or Wu Chin Lan, and Man Tat, uh, and Tommy Wong is also in there, I believe. Um, I have had this movie now for some time on many different forms of media. The first was with Made in Hong Kong in their VHS release, uh, and again, one of my favourite Made in Hong Kong titles released and I was hoping that they would follow that with part two starring Aaron Kwok and part three which Andy Lau returns for all three of course which star um, Wu Jin Len and all produced by Johnny To but part three not directed by Benny Chan with Johnny To stepping in as director um, unfortunately they didn't and I don't think they ever did release the sequels here in the UK. So uh, not so long ago, I actually picked the movie up again from Korea, as with Nova Media with the Blu-ray releases, also from South Korea. Um, and I picked up A Moment of Romance on DVD, which I just, again, wanted that, that upgrade. And um, I don't know, I mean, I haven't, I haven't got watching the DVD version of it yet, so I'm not even too sure as to how the quality of it is, but I will find out when I do my quality check against the Blu-ray from Nova Media. The video, the VHS and the DVD both run at 88 minutes long, which uh, the Blu-ray is running at 92 minutes. So I'm kind of interested to see where that four minutes falls in to play. So let's just get stuck right into this. If you haven't already seen A Moment of Romance, where have you been? It is one of Andy Lau's finest moments. Um, it is a fantastic movie altogether. Of course, spurred uh, a host of knockoffs and, um, well, obviously the two sequels, but other movies that really tried to be a moment of romance. This is a gorgeous, um, uh, God, God knows if you're going to see it, of course, this shiny cover. You're probably going to have every bit of light reflecting off it here. And then on the back... You see so yeah a fantastic movie wonderfully directed by Benny Chan um, not on the Nova Media label itself Keen Media um, here on the bottom you can see Keen Media it was bought on the Nova Media website who I'm starting to learn are releasing a lot of um, blu-rays from other distributors not just their own but um, yeah it's quite uh, it's quite beautifully packaged, very much like Nova Media's own uh, releases. It's region free, which is wonderful. Uh, 1080p, full HD, Chinese audio with Korean, English, and Chinese subtitles. Um, that's all it's given me at the moment. So yeah, not much more to what it's telling me here. The cover is very glossy, very very glossy, but beautiful. So I'm just going to slip this on it. There we go. And again, much like the Nova Media hard cases, the O-ring there, the text and the folds continues. The print goes on through there, which is quite nice. So yeah, a, a wonderful movie. Um, really, really, really love it. Special features, theatrical trailer. And what more can I say? There's never really too many special features included with these. So I'll pop this cover out first of all, see if there's a wee bit less reflection. And here we have the front, which is quite nice. And the other side here. This is the inside, of course. Um, but yeah, there's not a lot there with it. Uh, as with most Nova Media releases, whether it's on their label or not, they tend to release a special sort of limited edition um, version first that includes postcards or um, maybe a couple of extra features on there, an interview or something. Um, and then they will release the basic version, which I'm guessing 
the, this is because there's no number with the limited edition obviously there's some there's usually a number somewhere to let you know what number of x amount uh, was printed so yeah that's really all there is to that i am more excited to finally see it in hd that's the height of it um again one of my favorite benny chan movies and andy lao movies um really haven't got time to i uh, haven't had time sorry to get into the dvd version that i did get but probably watched the vhs six seven months ago uh, it wasn't too too long ago that i went back to it um so yes gonna be amazing to finally see it in hd and put it up against the korean dvd release of the same film <sighs> anyway i'll be back soon Okay, okay. just back after watching this amazing movie on Blu-ray for the first time in full HD and it was incredible. It just looks beautiful. Uh, I put it up against the South Korean DVD release of the movie, um, which I hadn't ever watched before and it was released in a letterbox uh, format, which kind of like had all the scenes squished and everyone looked a wee bit out of proportion. Um, but this was full screen and just beautiful. The definition, the colors, um, the cinematography was just, it was, it was an absolutely amazing watch. It felt like I was watching it for the first time. That's how nice it was. It, it's not restored in any sense. There's still the odd flicker of grain or, or scratch on the, on the film or whatever, but not too much to take away the, the fact that you're watching a high definition Blu-ray of this movie. Um, the DVD comes with uh, like a list of, in the special features, a list of uh, synopsis listing, casting, a photo gallery and a trailer. Of course, the Blu-ray only comes with the trailer, but that's fine. Um, you know, I could say that the VHS comes with a bunch of made in Hong Kong trailers for other films. It doesn't matter. I will probably never go back to the DVD and video ever again. But I'm never going to get rid of them because obviously as a collector that's that's what it's about. It's about having these different versions but this was well worth the pennies. Um, I'm sure it's released possibly on Blu-ray um, from a Hong Kong label. It is probably out there on a different uh, in di from different distributors in many formats um, on Blu-ray but for me quite happy to have this in my collection and I will go back to this time and time again. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, that someone likes of 88 Films or even Eureka will sometime soon bring us an amazing trilogy box set of uh, A Moment of Romance 1, 2 and 3. That would be fantastic. Perhaps 2K or 4K restored for the first time with a host of extras. It would be just lovely to see um, and a great respect to Benny Chan for what he has delivered here in one of his earlier films. So yes, major thumbs up for me for uh, this version, again, from Nova Media, but not from Nova Media, um, <laughs> on the Nova Media website. Definitely worth the look and a fantastic movie. All right, I can never bore of this film. It's fantastic. I do love it. Anyway, another one down and dusted. Uh, next time I am going to take a look, it's going to be a bit of a longer film, uh, video because I'm going to take a look at a five film box set that I just got in from Germany. It's a Shaw Brothers collection set. It came in around the same time as the Shaw scope from Arrow, but I didn't want to kind of overload on the Shaws. So I kind of separate there of a full pile of things that are all separated to try and space it out a bit. Um, thankfully, none of these five movies were in the Shaw Scope box set, which I'm very, very pleased for. Um, so, yes, I will be sharing that with you next time. Until then, please uh, subscribe, like, hit the bell and all that kind of thing. Head on over to InvincibleAsia.com for full reviews on every movie that I can eventually get around to reviewing. There is quite a few on there at the moment. Anyway, until then, thanks for watching. Enjoy your Kung Fu and I'll see you soon. Thank you.